Meghan Markle copied Princess Diana moment on March 21st when she stopped by to visit Los Angeles Children's Hospital. She met patients and staff members last month during the hospital's month-long campaign Make March Matter. The event brings together individuals and businesses to support children's health. During Marco's appearance, she read books such as Rosie Rivier and Engineer Pete, The Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons, and they all saw a cat as part of the segment. Literally Healing is a reading program that gifts families at the Children's Hospital more than 65,000 books annually. Megan also took part in STEAM activities with patients, including coloring, problem solving, and counting numbers. The appearance was reminiscent of her husband Prince Harry's late mother, who died in August 1997 at the age of 36. In early 1989, the Princess of Wales famously traveled to New York to see the pediatric AIDS unit at Harlem Hospital. These children were so very, very ill, and at the time, not much was known about how to assist them. It was just really heartbreaking. There was so much misinformation about AIDS that people believed you couldn't touch a doorknob or sit on a toilet, or you'd get it. Gren Elliott McKinty, Shah Alam Hospital Administrator who encountered Diana at the time, said Diana picked up a baby and looked at the baby like there was no one else in the room. Talked to the children and hugged them. She gave them love he told Page Six in 2020. Now, Meghan Marco was trying to cosplay her mother-in-law, so she's basically any volunteer at a hospital. She thinks she was special, so she brings a camera crew along with her. Keno Reeves, the Canadian actor and director, slammed Meghan, saying, suddenly doing charity visits after not much at all once they moved to America suspiciously timed for after a brand launch. Probably doing this to get a promote for a brand that has nothing to sell yet. Well, Keno Reeves seems to be able to do all sorts of charity, and you never hear about it because he has altruistic intent, not for his own self-promotion. And none of these children should have been photographed. The hypocrisy of hiding a children while photographing and publishing herself with other people's children, even her pie stunt, said that Meghan Marle showed off her incredible acting skills when she visited the Children's Hospital Los Angeles because Meghan got into character as she told the tales of popular books while the children at the hospital sang and laughed along. Shows off her acting skills, really, even when visiting sick kids, you have to make it about your supposed talent. This is all so cheesy. At the end of a visit, Meghan took fun Polaroid pictures which she personally signed for each patient before heading out of the door. She was gifted a sticker and a hug. Meghan wasn't joined by her husband Prince Harry or the children. How utterly abominable, using sick children for a photo op again. So many celebrities visit St. Jude's Ormond Street, etc., and they're never photographed for magazines, let alone photographed and sent out to PR with the ulterior motive of scrubbing one's own image. Meghan and Harry have no official position or duties in the U.S. Not even celebrities, as have been proven time and again. They're not even powerful in business or philanthropists. They don't even represent the real royal family over there. So what's the point? Why is she hiring a PR team and film crew to promote this?